Okay, I, I just, I couldn't wait any longer. <laughs> Hello, uh, Blue Drake 2, yeah, 42, Blue Drake 42, or Connor Hill. Uh, thank you so much to, where are you? CTIS Gaming for posting a comment two days ago on, how did I not see this, is comp uh, Computing Forever's, how did I not see this? Uh, this video. You posted a. Uh, under Lovely Productions comment of one of the most. one of. once most of my favorite creators moved to another platform and with YouTube. Posted under that comment about all the links to the videos of yours I am now watching. Starting with. so. Uh, I think if I know how to make our own YouTube. to Operation Fuck Off YouTube Commencing. to YouTube Exit Strategy 101. to these next two videos that I have not watched. And, yes, I am just too excited to wait to finish them all off to make sure I have a more concise uh, thing to say. And if I watch those and they change something that I would want to say or want to do, I'll make another video. I'm just too excited to do that right now. Uh, one of the reasons I'm so excited about uh, what it is you're doing, Blake Drake or Connor Hill, is that I was, I, I've been since around, I don't know, 2007, 2008, 2009, going, okay, why isn't there a different platform besides YouTube? Because YouTube is kind of being a dumbass right here. And then it continued on 2011, 2012, and I started, I, I made a, I, I got the wiki people to make me a site called anarchy.wiki. I was like, I was thinking, okay, I'll just put on some anarchy stuff here, get sort of like a, a consolidation of all the thoughts. And then later on, I was like, you know what, how about I use, because I had this idea of combining the concepts and ideas of Wikipedia with YouTube, because, uh, not with, with YouTube, with uh, Facebook. And what you would have then would be a social network with a deep linking, deep linking because of the ability to hyperlink. Because with Facebook, you got that social element there, but you don't have the deep link. You can't just click and click and click and click and click and click and just see a whole spectrum of thoughts and just explore the thought spectrum that that person has to have a very deep intimate knowledge of what it is that they've put out there. And with Facebook, you, you, can, you can see their stuff all the time quite fine, but if they just pull something different, all of a sudden, where the fuck did it go? You have to just you have to go through all these links, and the links are just all these big complicated things. You can't you can't just hyperlink it so that there's just this word that this or that like you can do in Wikipedia. So I was thinking, you know, what do we call what we would be called would be social wiki. That didn't really catch on, or nobody really cared about it. Probably because I didn't really have anything to show or display. So just with what you're doing, and with what, and this is the site that I suggest, would suggest that you look at because this is what I started it out with, and I was doing it a lot on my phone. Minds.com. It's also got an app, and they they got it up and running pretty fast, and I saw them make some initial changes, like that you could, uh, first you couldn't edit your posts, and then now you can, and then the comments and so forth, you can, you can actually thumb down comments. <laughs> and what they don't have, though, and this is why what you're doing to me, what you're doing is so important to me, is they didn't have the individual video platform stuff. You had, to up, you had to upload a video to YouTube or to some other place and then embed that into Minds.com. And so the question has been sort of along the lines of, what do we do about having a video platform? Because uh, we got the social network kind of aspect going on, but we don't really have the, 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 the video platform part. We don't have that engine there. And this is what you're talking about. You're talking about the video platform. And you're also already saying about how you want it to be used for other sites. And I'm thinking, well, why not combine this thing with Minds.com? Sounds like a perfect fit to me. Uh, there's also, because the, they're, they're going to be implementing a payment system where you can pay people to put their content on your site. And the, the the, the, the big dream that I have in regards to what I call social wiki is that you can customize a site as much as you freaking want. And with that, my ideal with that, is that the code you, or the, the interface would teach you how to code into the most intimate parts of it, and there'd be levels of that. So if you don't know how to do this thing, it would teach you. And that would be developed for it, of course, but the basic idea is you can do any sort of level of web design on there. You can do be those just basic most intuitive parts and just use whatever people have already made. Or if you want to, you can learn how to code it better and then figure out those parts, redo them, and have it be customized to your own design per your own level of ability. And there could be like multiple levels of that, I don't really know. This is just the idea of it, is that the site would introduce you to how to customize it if you so want to do that. 
And that's also kind of what I'm seeing is your idea there. I'm not heavily into the gaming idea. I don't really care about games, mainly because I realized and found out that's the cat. Realized and found out that the universe itself is sort of just one giant simulation, one giant game, you could say. And so my philosophy and thought kind of went to why play a game inside a game when I can play the game itself and hack life? And that's kind of the idea I have at this point, too, here. Have you heard of Steam It? S T E E M I T dot com. That site is run by anarcho capitalists and so forth. They use a philosophy of Bitcoin. I liked it initially, and now I'm not as fond of it, mainly because while it's excellent with, with being against censorship, you can have everything just be completely out there and it's censorship resistant, but there's also zero privacy and it just stays out there permanently. Whatever it is, whatever is out there, it just stays out there. It's worse than if it was just online by itself because it's censorship resistant and you can't take it down. And that's why I was like, after that, realizing that, going, okay, let's rein that in a bit. This isn't okay. And that's what I've enjoyed it, but despite the fascism elements of Facebook, because it's also it's the most functional that I've found so far. And of course, we're going to have to figure out something different because it is, of course, fascist, but Overall, it's the best functioning social network in totality so far. It's got a lot of fascist elements to it, yes, but it works. Generally, they don't bother me. I'm also not that big, but I'm probably thinking that that's probably part of it, too. So the bigger you are, da 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 da, -da. Um, One thing that I see concerning is that you don't, you're not, you're looking to have it be a sort of small knit kind of community thing. And that's not going to work. That's partial, part of why I want to recommend you checking out minds.com because they're working actively working on making it scale outwards and through the whole entire globe. I don't think you'll be able to keep this a small, tight-knit thing. I think that you're going to see people wanting to use this thing, and, and you're going to actually go, okay, we, we've got to scale this up. There, there isn't an option. We can't keep this small. Everyone wants to use this. We have to scale up. So know this. <laughs> people are going to want to be using this, and you're going to have to scale up. So be able to keep, I mean, you technically could keep a small scale, but more likely than not, you're going to need to figure out how to scale it up at some point here. And that's what Bill Ottman, one of the co-creators of Minds.com, uh, I think there are other people there too, Ian Crossan's immediately involved there, and uh, Dan something or other. They've also made videos about their, their, their website, and their aim is for it to be uh, democratically run. Now, I disagree in regards to the philosophy of democracy, but the overall idea they have, the intent for, for having freedom, that's the thing I agree with. Agree with. Now, I've, come, I've become a lot less antsy about labels, like anarchy or anarchist or whatnot, because I've seen a lot of people using those labels and essentially abuse them by not having it be consistently done. So the overall thing that I'm aiming for, that I'm aiming at, aiming at is having a society that is based on consistently applied rules. That's the flip side I see of anarchy. Anarchy being the idea of there being no rulers around. Rulers are, rulers are people who are exempt from the rules of society, such as the police, such as lawmakers, and so forth. So, that said, I'm extremely excited about this idea. I just got a job at Lunds. I'm thinking at some point here, I'd like to support you monetarily, or something like that, because this looks like the exact sort of thing that I want to have becoming successful. Because I've, I've been wanting to make my own social network type of thing. I, I was kind of doing the idea of social wiki. But it looks like you got the stuff figured out. I've done some coding. I've got, I've, I learned a long time ago, VB 6.0, Visual Basic 6.0. I didn't go much further than that. And apparently, according to you, you can just learn coding as, as far or fast as you want to. So I'll be getting into that because I'd like to learn that. I'd like to just actually do it myself, too. Uh, there's someone that I've been in contact with. Hilar I gotta figure out his name better again. But I'm thinking I might just have him work on your site. I don't really know. Uh, that is it. supposing that he wants to work with me. I don't know that either. But regardless, I want to give you the energy of this video. I want to give you the energy of alerting other people that I know of who are also doing other networks that they aren't aware of you yet. And I also want to make you aware of them too. Uh, there's also another site that um, Bill Ottman is aware about. Uh, scenario. It just launched about three days ago, I think, at this point, and I, I recommend you check it out. There are a bunch of sites now that are seeing this want, this desire for this type of product, for this type of social network, and I recommend that you combine forces. That's what I'm doing with this. Is that I want to, I want to show you and tell you, hey, this is a good idea. Keep going, and I support you. And I want to figure out how, how we can co-create a. Not YouTube, YouTube. <laughs> that doesn't sound quite right. A new YouTube. 
a, a better YouTube, one that doesn't have censorship as part of its makeup. I think that kind of covers it. Oh, <coughs> you were talking in one of your videos about you were deciding between using the Amazon thing or this this other thing that that had it more worked out already. I'd recommend not using Amazon because I think the best way to go about it is to have it be as clean scratch up, you're doing it yourself as possible. Not a, any type of dependence whatsoever. Because the more of that, that there is, the more likely it is that you're going to be under someone's thumb. Uh, as well, I've also been on Amazon and I've tried out the book writing process and the terms and conditions kind of scared me. I mean, I, I couldn't, according to Amazon, put my book anywhere else. I, I wrote a book, mini book, called um, Beyond Anarchism, or Beyond Anarchy, and I found out almost immediately that it's a bitch to try and do the formatting for it. So, uh, <laughs> I don't recommend Amazon. I know that he, the Jeff, is his name? I forget what his name is. I know that the guy who made Amazon is a savvy business person, but I don't see him, I, 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 I like the guy, but I don't see him being close enough to the ideas of anarchism to make it make sense, if that makes sense. He is a bit on the ruthless side of things, and I'm not sure that that would be conducive towards a censorship resistant, but also privacy based type of thing. But I also do like Amazon, but I'm also aware of how it's connected necessarily with the shipping business, and I haven't had fun with the shipping business, and I want to also have a new shipping business that has better employment stuff for their employees. That isn't what I consider to be an inconducive environment for productive work. Yeah. Scary how much abuse goes on in the world. I mean, that's just one small spot. So just everywhere there's a bunch of abuse going on and I want to be part of the reduction of that, the systematic reduction of abuse around the world. And I think that a well done, a ethically done social network site is a huge tool to do that type of thing. And I thank you for using your experience. I thank you for putting this out there. And I want to combine all this, this good stuff, the community stuff and whatnot, and have us bridge the way to a new world of free speech, of enhanced customizability, and individual control over what it is you do, whatever, over it is how you create, what you create, where you create, and your space of creation. 